Hello, everyone, and welcome to this presentation of the winning secrets of top traders. Welcome. My name is Stephen Primo. I want to wish each and every one of you a happy new year. And I'm going to start off today's presentation a little bit differently. We're going to jump right into it and uh, really start off with some interesting facts right off the bat. I'm going to give you a lot of facts that may be a little bit sobering for some of you. But uh, because this is the beginning of a new year, some of you may have a trading hangover from the past year. So let's start off with a few facts just to get you right on track for your trading in 2016. Now, fact number one. 80% of all traders lose money. And when we say lose, we're not talking about simply going into a slump or a drawdown where you seem to be having some a number of losing trades in a row. We're talking about 80% of all traders will ultimately lose all of their money. They will lose their nest egg entirely for trading. In other words, they will be wiped out. Fact number two is that 15% of all traders will only break even. Now, this isn't bad in today's markets. A break even is no small feat, but for all the hard work and effort you're putting into the markets, you will have nothing to show for it. 15% of you will really have nothing to show for it. Uh, after uh, a lot of trading going up and down, you'll really just be treading water. So finally, fact number three is it means that only 5% of all traders are consistently profitable. Only 5%. If we want to see what that looks like, in a visual representation, let's look at this pie chart here. That large portion in red signifies the representation of 80% of all traders losing or ultimately failing. This larger sliver here in blue represents the amount of traders that will break even, 15%. And that small little green slice there represents the percentage of traders that will be consistently profitable. Let's say we had uh, uh, 100 people listening today, which I think we have actually more than that in our room, but just to make things easier for all the people that are, are uh, uh, math challenged like myself, let's say we have 100 people in here. Only five of you will be consistently profitable, okay? I'm not saying this to scare of you or to dissuade you from trading for 2016, but this is what most traders go through. A lot of them join that uh, large majority there of losers a small portion only break even, and even smaller portion just consistently uh, generate gains. So this leads us to ask the question, how is it possible that the majority of all trading profits are captured by such a small percentage of traders? Okay, how is it that just this small amount of traders are able to consistently generate gains? Are they seeing something that the majority of all traders are seeing, don't see, or are they you know, trading something, a system, a style, a particular technique, or are they viewing something that the rest of uh, the traders in the world cannot see? Okay. Well, this brings us today to what we're going to be talking about. Once again, my name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading. I've been trading now for 39 years, starting in 2016, a total of 39 years. I started out my trading career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for 16 years, and nine of them I was a specialist for Donaldson, Lufkin, and Jenrette. I traded through the crash of 1987 and the bull market that followed. So I've been around in just about every market environment imaginable. I've seen every technique, every method, every system. I know what works in terms of consistency, and I know what doesn't. I've been around top traders, and I've seen their secrets. And this is what we do at Specialist Trading. We are an educational company where we teach you how to become a part of the process, how to take control of your own trading so that you can ultimately gain the ranks of that 5%. So my goal at Specialist Trading is not simply to force feed you signals to take the way so many of other websites do. Now, even though we provide our members with, with strategies and signals for those strategies, they're meant to be used as learning tools so that ultimately you'll know what to look for on your own. You can alter them if you'd like. You can change them and edit them to meet your standards and your needs. And then ultimately, go trade them yourselves. We don't want you hanging around and relying on us to tell you how to trade and what to buy, what to sell. So many websites do that. So many traders do that. I'm sure a lot of you belong to trading rooms and chat rooms where they tell you what to buy, what market to trade, what time frame to trade. We don't believe in that. My goal, as you see here, is to teach you not to trade for you but to teach you so that you can ultimately trade with that specialist edge. This, this is the same edge that was able to turn my trading around and hopefully will turn your trading around as well. Now, today I'm going to share with you some winning secrets so that you'll be able to take advantage of markets such as these, and you'll be able to spot buy signals the way we have right here. These are the winning secrets of top traders, okay? And you can see that each and every one of these specific areas was a buy setup and I'm going to show you exactly how you could have spotted those 
on your own with the things I'm going to be sharing with you today. Hopefully, we'll get your trading on track in 2016. Oops, kind of spent, uh, kind of uh, went by there for a quick second. But these are the winning secrets of top traders, okay? And you're going to be really surprised when I show you exactly what they are. Very simple, but extremely powerful. But before we go into today's presentation, I ask that you please take a moment to view our disclaimer. We're required to show you this. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results. In fact, I'm going to give you two of the proprietary rules to one of our most consistent strategies. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer, and we shall begin right after that. Okay, now before we also begin, I'd like to invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. You may want to write this down. That's our handle right there, at SPCLSTTRADG. Uh, I post a lot of great free information on a daily basis, anywhere from daily financial wisdom to actual signals that our strategies have generated. In fact, uh, just last week, the uh, last day of December, actually, I posted uh, several sell signals that had been generated in the markets by uh, uh, three of our strategies. And you can all see what happened in the market in the next week after that. So these are the things we do with Twitter, but uh, because of the way it's set up, rather briefly and uh, not very detailed information, if you're looking for more detailed information, some videos on, on what we do and how we teach, our sister site, which is Pro Trader Strategies, has put together a Facebook page for us. So you can like us on Facebook, go to ProTraderStrategies.com, and there's a lot more information there, a lot more about what we do, and a lot more videos to learn uh, about what we do and how we teach. All right, so let's begin now. The first thing I'd like to mention is that I'm going to share with you a lot of information today. I have a ton of information to give to you and to pass on with a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, examples. So if you have any questions, kindly wait till the end of the presentation uh, to ask them. We don't want to bog down and slow down the uh, the webinar uh, with questions that are oftentimes answered in the next slide. So if you have a question, just wait, and we'll get to it in just about 25 minutes from now, okay? All right, let's start up with what I learned uh, trading on the floor of the exchange. I've made no secret about this. I've told uh, in many of my presentations before that I struggled tremendously my first year or two trading on the floor. I was on the floor and I had access and I had uh, you know, access to very privy information where traders were putting their accounts in, what uh, certain big institutions, what they wanted to buy or sell. And believe it or not, I still couldn't make a dime. I was doing a little bit better than that 80 percentile, but I was in that 15 percentile where I was just basically breaking even. I wasn't making any money for the company and uh, I didn't know if I was going to be trading on the floor very much longer because I, I basically was just uh, breaking even and trading water the entire time. All right. I was able to come in contact with some top traders. These were successful traders. These were mentors of mine who have been trading roughly about 40 years on their own individually. And this is where I learned these uh, top uh, secrets of uh, the winning secrets of, of these top traders. And it was very surprising because you always think that it's something that they're doing that the rest of us aren't doing. In other words, we always thought that uh, the only way to be successful is to pile on more things onto your trading plan. And you must have some system or some indicator or you must have some access to news that is far more advanced than anyone else has. And that's why you're so successful. That's why you're one of the uh, winning traders. Where in actuality, after I came in contact with my mentors, it was the exact opposite. What they said was, Steve, the way to become a consistent winning trader is to get rid of all these things. Those are the things that keep you from being successful. It's the conventional wisdom, it's the news, it's the things that we have been taught that actually keep us away from being successful. So rather than adding something to become a, a better trader, what they said was you must strip away what they called this useless noise. Oh, so therefore, winning secret number one was winning traders don't concern themselves with news. Now, when I first started trading on the floor, I listened to every news event, every news announcement that came out, whether it was earnings, the money supply, jobless claims, what was going on in the other part of the world, other stock markets. And guess what? It didn't help me at all. My mentor said, Steve, listen, we're not interested in news because it's too subjective. Now, obviously, you see here that I said winning traders. I didn't say winning investors. Obviously, if you're an investor, you need to know about the, the inner workings of a company, the economics going on around the world. That's something you need to know because you're holding on to that position for the long haul. But if you're trading for anywhere from 
a couple of months to maybe a couple of hours to maybe even a couple of minutes, there's no reason you should concern yourself with the news. Let me show you a perfect example why. Here's a recent uh, news event that came out. This is the LA Times. This was just a couple of weeks ago uh, in December. The Fed hikes the key interest rate for the first time in nearly a decade. Okay, The Federal Reserve today raised its benchmark short-term interest rate for the first time in nine and a half years, seven years to the day after lowering the rate to near zero. Members of the policymaking Federal Open Market Committee edged it up to 0.25 percentage point. Okay, a lot of people said this was already known. It was discounted. Let's see what happened looking at the chart. Here's the day that news came out. And somewhere around midday, that uh, announcement was made by the Fed. And as you can see, we closed towards the upper uh, higher portion of the range of the of the market. So for all intents and purposes, this is you know, been discounted or possibly it's pretty positive the way you want to interpret it. So looks like it was okay news, fairly good to positive news, okay? Let's see what happened in the next couple of days. Straight down. So what does this mean? The news was only good for a couple of hours because the very next day we went straight down and then the day after that? So let's say after that point you're thinking, well, okay, so I guess I should look at things from a short-term perspective and uh, shorting the markets because now we're negative, okay? Uh, I guess that news really wasn't good. So you start to look for things to sell, you get out of your long positions, and in the next week, we're back up to flirting with the old highs again. This was just a couple of weeks ago. Do you see how news is too subjective? Winning traders want things that are cut and dry. You don't want to be guessing or trying to interpret what a signal means, but this is the way we've been taught. Winning traders, top traders, do not trade this way. Therefore, they do not concern themselves with news. There's not one of my mentors ever looked at the news. They could care less about it, and they've been trading for roughly 40 years when I first came in contact with them. All right, winning secret number two, winning traders do not pick tops and bottoms. Once again, this was my standard uh, oper modus of operandi. I was trading tops and bottoms. I thought that's what you're supposed to do, right? Buy low, sell high. Look for that support or resistance. You want to buy and support towards the lows. You want to sell on resistance towards the highs. Or how about Fibonacci levels? You know, you should be getting in and out of those levels, okay? Just like going to the uh, slot machines in Las Vegas, these types of tradings will give you winners every once in a while, but over the long haul, you will not have anything to show for it because they're, you know, there's no consistency in them. There's no consistency in picking tops and bottoms. Trust me, take it from someone who traded that way. I traded that way for nearly two years. That's when I thought I was going to be let go as a specialist because I couldn't make any money. Let me show an example here. This is an older chart of uh, Caterpillar Tractor. And as you can see on the bottom, we have plotted just a standard slow stochastic oscillator. Now, conventional wisdom tells us that when something is overbought, as you see circled in red there, that's when you want to sell. After all, the indicator or whatever it's based upon is telling you that it's gone too high. So if we just use this standard technique, that's where you sell. And guess what? It worked like a charm, right? The stock went down right after that. You have a really nice profit. You're starting to think this is the easy way to trade. I found the answer, okay? Uh, buy low, sell high. So now that we've come lower, we look at the indicator now, and now it's in the so-called overbought scenario. Or I should say, I'm sorry, oversold scenario. So we want to buy. We cover our short, go long now. And actually, it goes lower. But that's okay. We have a nice profit from the earlier trade. So we decide to buy some more. And then we buy some more and more and more until we've given everything back. See, this type of trading will give you winners every once in a while. And there are a few traders I know of who actually make a very nice living trading tops and bottoms. But they fall in that very small percentile. It's not really something you can teach. Why? Because they're basically going off field. But the, for the majority of us, myself included, we have a very difficult time trading tops and bottoms. You should be trading things that are cut and dry, that have a level of consistency to them. And trust me, there is no consistency in trying to pick tops and bottoms. So that's winning secret number two. Winning secret number three, winning traders do not listen to trading gurus. I'm sure some of you are probably thinking, well, Steve, boy, this is kind of a, a put down on yourself. Aren't you someone who's supposed to be teaching people how to trade? Aren't you some type of a guru? Aren't you telling people what, how to get to that level of consistency? Well, there's a slight difference here because a guru tells you what to buy, what to sell. He tells you how to trade. He tells you what market to be in. A guru tells you 
what time frame you should be. A teacher is different. A teacher basically tells you how to do it, but it lets you figure it out yourself in terms of how to personalize it for yourself. In other words, we are not trading for you as teachers. Teachers are similar, similar, uh, similar to uh, teaching you how to play golf. Let's say you want to learn how to play golf. Well, they can teach you everything they know through their experience, but they're not going to go out there and play golf for you. They're not going to tell you uh, what you should be doing, exactly how you should be doing it when you go to the golf course. That's up to you. You've learned everything. You've studied it. Now it's up to you to make those decisions. It's the same way with teaching. We give you all the information, all the insight, the things that have shown a high level of consistency. We mold it to fit your needs, but then basically it's up to you to become a part of that process. Trading gurus are more like people that are on TV that are telling you what market to buy or sell. Uh, these, these are the people that are in the chat rooms and in the trading rooms. This goes against all of our philosophy because once you start to join a chat room or a trading room, it turns into almost this type of a session where you're all sitting in the bar and everyone's saying, well, who do you like in the fifth? This is more of a gambling mentality. This is not in any way learning or teaching or sharing information. It's basically people trying to get ideas and say, who do you like? Who do you like? Who should I bet on? So it's really counterproductive. We do not believe in trading rooms or chat rooms because people will turn them into a crutch. What we do is believe in is, is uh, in sound trading and things that have stood the test of time. So these are the winning secrets of top traders. And if you can notice, there is a, a common denominator. If you've seen there, they're basically not the things that you add on to your trading plan. They're the things that you strip away. All the conventional wisdom, all of the, uh, you know, the knowledge that you've been supposed to be applying, is really useless. I mean, it really, if it works so well, if it was so profound and so, uh, you know, insightful, why aren't those numbers different? In other words, why aren't 80% of all traders consistent and maybe, uh, you know, 15% breaking even and 5% losing? Why? Because conventional wisdom, the things we talked about are too subjective. They're not cut and dry. And basically there's no consistency in two. Now the common denominator with all these things is that you are taking your lead from an outside source. You're either listening to an indicator, listening to conventional wisdom, listening to news, listening to someone in a chat room or a trade room telling you how to trade, what to do, what to buy, what to sell. At Specialist Trading, our goal is to listen to the market. You see, as top traders, all right, these are the winning secrets of top traders. My mentor said, there's only two jobs that you have as a trader. Your first job is to learn how to listen to the market. Listen to the market and it will tell you what it wants to do. Then your second job is simply to jump on board. That's it. You don't listen to what the market's doing by listening to news. The news doesn't tell you what the market wants to do. You don't get that from trading tops and bottoms by trying to tell the market where it's going to stop. And you don't get that from some chat room that turns into some bar room atmosphere. You get that from looking at the chart and listening to what the market tells you. And then once you've listened to it, you figure out ways to jump on board. That's it. That's our only job as traders. But these are the winning secrets of top traders. Now, we're going to go in to show you how we formulated one of our most consistent strategies. This is a strategy I learned on the floor, the basics and the basic format on the floor, the trading floor some 40 years ago and how we've molded into one of our best and most consistent strategies. That's strategy number four. Let me share with you some of the highlights of this particular strategy. It's a trend following strategy. Remember, we do not want to pick tops and bottoms. Therefore, we're following the trend. There's no consistency in picking tops and bottoms. You must be in sync with the trend. Now, the intensity level of this particular strategy, if one were the most intense strategy of all, where you basically couldn't leave your computer, and three were the most relaxed strategy where you can basically enter an order and walk away. This is right in the middle, very moderate, number two, okay? Its entries are based on pattern recognition. So we are not looking at any type of uh, tons of indicators. Once again, we're not listening to news. The pattern is telling us what the market wants to do. Now this works in any market, any time frame, in any direction. So if you're a member of the strategy number four course, you don't have to say, well, Steve, gosh, I trade stocks. I don't trade the Forex. So, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't really apply for me. Well, it doesn't matter. You'll get the same setups with the Forex, with intraday trading the E-minis, with uh, trading, uh, you know, monthly charts of stocks. It doesn't matter. It absolutely does not matter because we're basing everything off of what the market is telling us. 
okay? Now, if you're a course member of Strategy Number 4, you receive automatic signal alerts, okay? We have a, an add-on which automatically generates, the software generates buy and sell arrows. But please remember, <clears throat> excuse me, it goes against our philosophy to tell you when to buy and when to sell. That's not what this is for. This is for a learning tool. In other words, for you to kind of check your homework to see that you know when a single signal has been generated. Once you see that a signal has been generated, you learn to spot that pattern, and then after a while, you won't even rely on these automatic signals, okay? Now, our edge here is consistency. We obviously have losing trades every once in a while. The beauty of strategy number four, as well as all of our strategies and techniques at specialist trading, is that they have a certain two-step forward, one-step back approach, meaning that when you have a loss every once in a while, you will have small losses, usually make it back within the next one or two trades, and then you're right back on course, and then you make even more sometimes. So we have this level of going two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back. That's what real trading is about. Everyone loses. My first two trades today, I lost money on, and I had a winning day today. So it, it, it really is not about having, you know, a thousand percent made each and every month or each and every year. That's silly. What it is is about consistency. Consistency is the only thing in trading that will sustain you. And the way you get consistent is learning how to listen to the market. All right, so let's show you some strategy number four rules. You may want to write this down, but don't worry if you don't get this down. We have uh, all of our presentations recorded, so if you want to watch a recording of this later on, you can kindly just request a link to this recording from uh, ProTrader Strategies, and then, and then you can watch it at your own leisure. So let's go to rule number one with strategy number four. Buy signals can only be entered above the 50 period simple moving average. So if you know price is below the 50, we will never generate a buy signal. Why? Because that means the overall trend is down. Remember, we're not trying to pick tops and bottoms. We're only trading in sync with the overall trend and going with the trend. We're listening to what the market wants to do and then jumping on board. Now, conversely, we're only going to sell, and sell signals can only be entered below the 50. Let me show you what we mean here. Here's an older chart in ATVI. As we see here, someone looking at this would say, well, we're kind of going sideways, no real trend as of yet, but where is price in relation to the 50-period moving average? Price is above. So even though we're going sideways, the market, not somebody in a trading room, not some guy in TV, not some uh, convoluted indicator, but the market is telling you that most likely the overall trend is up. So therefore, you should be looking for buy setups. You shouldn't be looking to go short. And you would have thanked your lucky stars for not going short because look what happened. Now, obviously, some news came out, but it wasn't as if anyone knew that news was coming out. We didn't know that news was coming out. The market told us it wanted to go higher because it was above the 50-period moving average. You put the odds in your favor if you only buy above the 50 and not below it. Now, conversely, looking at this example here in KSS, someone looking at this would say, well, Steve, we kind of made a bottom there, and it looks like we're going higher. We may want to buy this, maybe it'll test those old highs. Where is price in relation to the 50-period? Price is below. So are we going to buy anything? No, we're only going to be sellers. And you would have, once again, thanked yourself because three or four days later, obviously some news came out to go short. We didn't know what this news was. It was obviously bad news for the company. But remember, you don't have to wait for news. The market most likely tells you what it's going to do in advance of news most of the time. There's no reason to listen to any news event. The market is usually telling you in advance what it wants to do. This is just one of the ways we teach you how to listen to the market. All right, rule number two. Now that we know what side of the market to be on, we are going to look for a bar that closes in the top or bottom 25% of its range. All right, so what exactly does that mean? If we look at this open, high, low, close bar, what you want to do is simply divide that bar by four, and this is something you can do in a matter of seconds. It's just I'm, I'm slowing it down here in detail for people who don't really understand this, but you just divide it by four separate but equal parts, and you want to see that you close in that top quarter. If you close in the top quarter, and if that bar is above the 50-period moving average, the market is now giving you another clue that it's going higher. That's an indication to buy. So now you've gotten two messages from the market, not from some guy in a trading room, but from the market telling you, I'm most likely going higher. Now, who would you rather listen to? Some guy sitting on a bar stool or the market itself? Okay. And this can be any type of bar. It can be an open, high, low, close bar, as you see here. It can be a candlestick. 
But remember, just when we say the top to close range, we're talking about the top of the wick to the bottom of the wick. Now, lastly, if we see a bar like this, we close at the very bottom here, you divide it by four. If you close in that bottom 25%, and if price is below the 50, the market is screaming that most likely it's going lower. You don't get you know, uh, many better edges than this coming from the source. That's the market. All right, so these are two of the main rules of strategy number four, all right? Strategy only has five rules. It's extremely simple but powerful. We can only give you two right now because it wouldn't be fair to the people that have purchased the strategy number four course. But strategy four has a very high level of consistency. I'm not going to tell you that some of the trades don't work out every once in a while, but it has a high level of consistency, meaning that every once in a while when you do have a small loss, you will quickly make it back most of the time. In fact, let's start out by showing you some examples of strategy number four, some current examples. Once again, let's start out with that first chart we looked at earlier, ATVI. All right, we're above the 50 period moving average, and we see a bar that closes in the top 25% of its range. You see right there? So two of the rules, two of the requirements have been met. Now, if you knew all the other rules, you would know that this was a valid strategy number four buy setup, and the software automatically generated a buy signal. So you could have gone long and had four point gain in just roughly three weeks. Once again, once that news came out, you would have uh, had a very nice gain there. The same thing with that other example in KSS. We're below the 50 period moving average, rule number one. Rule number two, we have a bar here that closes in its bottom 25%. Now I know there's a lot of other bars here that close in their bottom 25%, but they don't meet all of the, the remaining requirements of strategy number four, which we can't divulge at this time. Just trust me when this was a valid signal to go short, and we all know what happened, 12 points in one month. Now, that chart I showed you in the beginning, well, that was the a weekly chart of the E-mini. I mean, I know a lot of you don't invest in the E-mini on a weekly basis, but just to show you how well this works in any market and in any time frame, in any direction, we see here that these are all weekly bars, and these were all buy signals. Now, someone looking at this would say, well, Steve, you know, but how did we know it was going to continue to go up? After all, there was a lot of economic news. It was bad. There was a lot of, uh, you know, uh, terrorist alerts, things that were very negative that uh, should have told, told us to go short. But how did we know whether to go the short or not to take those sell signals? You add the 50 period moving average. Where is price in relation to the 50? Where was price that entire time? Price was above. So the market is telling you don't short. The market is telling you, you don't have to listen to news. You don't have to try and pick a top. Just listen to the market. If it's above going this entire year, year and a half period, you're not going to short anything. Sure, there were some tops made, but you would have had been very quick and have been very uh, difficult sleeping at night, hoping that you weren't going to get stopped out because it reversed rather quickly and went back in sync with the upward trend. It's much easier and you're going to sleep a lot better at night if you trade in sync with the trend as opposed to trying to pick tops and bottoms. Remember. Winning traders do not pick tops and bottoms. So if we see here that we met requirement number one, requirement number two is looking for bars that closed in the top 25% of their range. And these were all the bars that closed in the top 25% of their range that also met the remaining three requirements of the strategy. So therefore, these were all buy signals. Now, had you taken the very first one back here roughly a little over a year ago, that's 900 points in one year. That's $45,000. Now, we're not saying you would have held on that entire time. We're just showing you how much room you had to, to work with just by using these simple techniques. Now, granted, that's a weekly chart. Let's go down to something smaller. Let's look at the Forex uh, Euro Yen chart here on an hourly time frame. And this was just last week. If you look at the very bottom here, you see this is the first uh, day of 2016 right here. This is the last day of the year. First thing we ask ourselves, are we going to try and buy the Euro Yen? No. Why? Because we never buy if we are below the 50 period moving average. You see how powerful this simple rule is and how it can really save you money. Why? Because you are in sync with the overall trend. So we knew right off the bat, we knew way up here that we were not going to be buyers. We're going to be sellers. And now we need to look for rule number two, bars that close in the bottom 25% of the range and that met all the other requirements. So the, the, here were three sell signals in the Euro Yen coming this past week. All right? In three days, you could have made 350 pips or roughly about $3,500 if you had held the entire time. 
All right, so this just happened three days ago on an intraday chart of the Euro Yen. Now remember, it's all about consistency. What does consistency mean? It means, well, every once in a while you may have a losing trade, as example here in this older chart of Tesla. All right, where is price in relation to the 50 period moving average? Price is below, so we're only going to be sellers. Now we have rule number two met where we have a bar closing in its bottom 25% of its range. Remember, there are other bars here, such as here, here, and here that close in the bottom 25%, but they did not meet all of the other requirements of strategy number four. But this one did. So it's a valid sell signal. So let's say you would have sold, and look what happened. You got stopped out, okay? Every once in a while, you will have these small losses where, you know, they're not meant to be looked at and said, well, this doesn't work. Boy, you guys really tricked me into buying something that doesn't work at all. There will be small losses from time to time. But we have to ask ourselves, is there a way to increase our odds for success? How can we possibly add a filter so that it can keep us out, not out of all of them, but out of some of those losses so we can increase our odds for success? Well, there is. It's a tool I was introduced to about 40 years ago. You've heard me speak about it many times. It's probably the most popular trading tool we have at Specialist Trading. It's the Pet D, okay? All right, so what exactly is the Pet D for those of you who have not heard of the Pet D before? It's a proprietary algorithm. I was introduced to it on the floor of the exchange. At that time, we used to just call it the formula because it was something you had to uh, write up this formula each and every day. But now that we have high speed computers and uh, programmers, well, we've changed it into a color bar tool. So all we have to do is apply this tool to whatever chart we're looking at, whatever time frame, and it will color the bars, either green or red. So we can now use it as the most powerful short term trend identifier I've ever seen in my nearly 40 years of trading. I use this on a daily basis, and I have not found one thing in nearly 40 years that tells me to almost in advance what the short-term trend is. Now remember, the 50-period moving average gets us in sync with the overall trend, but the PET-D really fine-tunes the short-term trend. So we can use it to identify the short-term trend, and we can also use it to confirm signals. Now, if you see a series of green bars, such as you see here, the short-term trend is up. Conversely, a series of red bars tells you the short-term trend is down. So how are we gonna use it with strategy number four? Well, first of all, let me show you how sensitive this is. Okay, here's an older chart of HRB. As we can see here, someone looking at this would say, well, Steve, I don't need this because, uh, you know, I can see just off site, we're in an uptrend. So why do I need to know, uh, you know, have a, a color bar tool telling me we're in an uptrend? I can see it right here. That's true. It's easy to spot something once it's happened, but many times you wanna know in advance, get a little clue or a little early warning that things are going to change because oftentimes trends will change on a dime, as you see right here. Now, how could the pet D have helped us? How could the pet D have told us somewhere up here to get out that we were going into a downtrend, or for that matter, way back here that we were already in an uptrend well before it even took place? Well, we add the color bar tool, and we can see that well back here we were all already coloring the bars green, so we knew we were in an uptrend, and well before. HRB fell out of bed, we had a series of red bars telling us that we were now in a downtrend. So as I stated, in my 40, nearly 40 years of trading, I have never seen a tool that really fine tunes the short term trend better than the pet D. You can use it on anything, intraday trading, Forex, uh, long term, it doesn't matter. But how are we going to use it to increase our odds for success with strategy number four? All right, so here's what you're going to do. When a strategy number four buy signal is generated, well, we're only going to take those signals when the pet D colors that bar green. It has to confirm it. Now, conversely, we're only going to take strategy number four sell signals when the pet D colors the bar red. So it doesn't matter if all the bars before that were green. If we get a signal to sell, that bar must be red. Conversely, it doesn't matter if all the bars prior to the signal were red. If we get a signal to buy, that bar must be green. All right, so let's look at some examples. Let's look at some recent examples in stocks to start out with. Here's one in letter K, okay? As we see here, we have initially a sell signal that was generated by the software, and it was a loser, as you can see it. The minute you would have sold, it went straight up. 
So at this point, you probably say, boy, why did I become a member of this course? This stuff doesn't work. Here's my very first trade, and it works great on paper. The very first time I get into it, it doesn't work, okay? Now, here's another signal generated by uh, the same software. And so you're probably a little gun shy now, and you're thinking, I'm not going to take this one. I just had a loss. So I'll sit back and watch. And lo and behold, if we had applied the PET D, we would have seen that we never would have even taken the first one. Why? Because cell signals need to be colored red. And once again, this was colored green. So we would have bypassed this loss. But the buy signal was colored green. So that's the one we would have taken. So sometimes the best trades, the best way to increase your odds for success are by filtering out the losers, okay? Not by picking the best uh, you know, signals that have the highest probability for gains. It's not about that. It's just about being in trades that are gonna be consistent. Letter K gained four points in just about three weeks off of that one trade. And if you miss that one trade, the beauty of strategy number four is it is always generating other buy signals along the way. Let's go to American Express, okay? This was in November coming into the end of December this past week. Where is price in relation to the 50 period moving average? Price is below. So obviously no buy signals will ever be generated below the 50. You see that? We're not even gonna consider going long. So we know that the strategy will only generate sell signals. Now, if we see here, look at all the sell signals that were generated. Looking back in hindsight, well, yeah, they met all the requirements below the 50 period moving average. They were all generated on bars that closed in the bottom 25% of their range. But, you know, in hindsight, it's easy to say, well, yeah, you know, it's, Steve, this is easy. Sure. Looking back, uh, very easy because, uh, you know, the market was going lower. But how do we know in real time if that's going to happen? This is the beauty of the PET D. The PET D will always confirm so that you can, you know, have the confidence to take that trade. So as we see here, if we added the PET D, each and every one of those cell signals was colored red, okay? In fact, just last week, we had another cell signal. I'm sure someone would have said, well, Steve, boy, we've already had four winning trades here. I'm kind of gun shy. How do I know to take this last one? Well, we're not guaranteeing you that it's going to be a winner, but it has a high level of probability. Why? Because it's colored red. And we all know what happened in this last week, okay? Have you taken the very first signals yet? You, you had eight points to work in your favor in the next two months. Now, once again, we're just about getting ready to close up here. But remember, if you have any questions, wait till the end. There's a certain box I have to open up in order to look at any questions. I'm not even going to open that up yet. So just wait till the very end, and then we'll go over all your questions then. All right, let's look at this chart here in MCK. Now, one uh, you know might look at this and say, well, Steve, I've always been taught you never want to trade a sideways market, all right? This is just a range market, basically just going sideways. We're going up, back down, back up, back down. So I'm gonna stay out of this because most likely I'll be whipsawed. Remember, that's conventional wisdom, all right? We don't trade that way. We listen to the market. And what is the market telling us? The market telling us is telling us it's above the 50 period moving average. So most likely the overall trend is up. So therefore, look be on the lookout for buy setups. It's not telling you to stay out. It's telling you to be on the lookout for buy setups in MCK. Even though it may appear that we're just going sideways, that's the reason why most traders fall into that small, uh, you know, 15% uh, of breaking even or even larger, 80% of failing because they're taking, they're basing their trades based off faulty information. Correct information is the market is telling you I'm most likely going higher. Remember, your job is to listen to the market and then to figure out a way to jump on board. The way we figured it out is through strategy four, okay? Strategy four generated a buy signal. That's how we figure out on how to jump on board. But what if you just wanna have a little bit more assurance that it's gonna be going up? Well, you add the pet D. All buy signals need to be colored green. And as you can see here, the, the uh, buy setup was colored green. So this will give you the confidence to take the trade. And as you can see, MCK went up 10 points in the, just the next five days. This was just a couple of weeks ago, okay? Now let's look at the E-mini S&P for all you intraday traders here. Let's look at a 60-minute chart. Price is below the 50-period moving average. We're looking at candles now because it doesn't, it absolutely does not matter what type of candle you use. Don't get stuck on thinking that you can only trade with certain types of candles. Our strategies can be applied with regular bars, with candles. It absolutely doesn't matter with range bars. I was looking at trading with range bars today. 
So it, it absolutely does not matter. Okay. So we close in the bottom 25% here, and this actually worked out very well, but now we got another signal, and this was on the 10th of December, just about a month or so ago. So how do we know whether we should take this trade? Well, if we add the pet D, we see that both bars are colored red. Remember, the bars are colored red not because we opened and closed lower. They're colored red because uh, the pet D is calling them red. As you see here, we opened and closed lower a certain other times, but and, and we opened and closed higher a certain other times, but the pet D continues to color the bar red. That's the beauty of how we've structured it. So you have the consistency now with the pet D, and look what happened in the market. We all know what happened in the market coming in the last part of December. And you would have gained 60 points in two days. That's $3,000 per contract off these signals. Here's a 10-minute chart just a couple of weeks ago, uh, in the last week of uh, December, actually. On this 10-minute time frame in the E-mini, we are above the 50-period moving average, and we had two buy signals. All right, so how do we know they're going to work out? Well, you add the pet D, and you can see that the pet D was green even prior to that day on the 21st of December. So the market is, uh, you know, clearly in a short-term uptrend we're above the 50 we have all the setup and the requirements from strategy number four so you have very confident uh trading uh strategy here just take the trade and in the next two days the e-mini went up 40 points okay and had you missed the very first two trades well you had more trades that were generated along the way 40 points that's two thousand dollars per contract in just two days now just to show you that we're not cherry picking things that happened you know weeks or months ago here's what happened today I took this snapshot just roughly about an hour before today's uh, close, and this is on a 15-minute time frame. As you can see here in the bottom chart, it's the 6th of January. Now, we here's where we closed yesterday on a 15-minute time frame, and we gapped much lower, below the 50-period moving average. So we ask ourselves, where is price in relation to the 50? Price is below. And a sell signal was generated right here with the automatic software. We closed in the bottom 25%. Now, here's where the conventional wisdom and doubt comes into play. This is where people get scared because they say, well, Steve, we open lower. This could be some type of reversal. Look, we open at the bottom and we've been going up ever since. We've got a big gap up here. I've always been taught that gaps are meant to be filled, right? And I think this was some major support area right here, maybe a double bottom, maybe some Fibonacci level. And on top of that, this was some guy in a chat room that was talking about this morning, says you have to buy uh, the market now because we've bottomed out. So I'm not sure I want to take this sell signal. You see how we are so accustomed to listening to outside sources? It's these outside sources, news, uh, you know, support and resistance, trading rooms that actually take you further away from being successful. They don't add at all to your consistency. What they do is make you more inconsistent. That's why the majority of traders fail. The only thing you should be listening to is the market. And at this point, the market was telling you, I want to go lower. So if the market wants to go lower, our job is simply to figure out a way to jump on board. The way we figured out on how to jump on board is through the requirements of strategy number four. So it generated a sell signal. And once you add the pet D, it was confirmed. In fact, the entire time the market was rallying, the pet D continued to color all its bars red, telling you that we're still in a short-term downtrend. So it was okay to take this sell signal. And look what happened. This was coming into uh, the last hour of the day, Pacific uh, Coast time. And that was 20 points you had to work in your favor in three hours. And we're not saying you would have held out for 20 points, but that's how much room you had to work with. Okay, you could have gotten out with a, a one-point profit. You could have gotten out with a 10-point profit. It's up to you. Remember, we do not teach nor do we trade systems where everyone has to enter and exit the same spot, where everyone has to trade the same way. We just share with you this fundamental information that has stood the test of time, this knowledge, and then we work with you to fit and mold so that you feel comfortable. You could have gotten out in five minutes. You could have held on for the next three hours and taken 20 points. It doesn't matter, okay? Now, if you missed that trade, once again, well, there was another sell signal generated just about uh, two hours before the close. All right, lastly, let's look at the Forex markets because the same rules apply, the same concepts. Here's a weekly chart of the Canadian dollar. All right, a buy signal was generated uh, in uh, October, beginning of November. As we see, it was not only generated, but it was confirmed by the pet D because it was colored green. Therefore, you would have had the confidence to take this if you were an investor in the Canadian dollar. And in the next three months, 
the Canadian dollar went up 800 pips, so roughly about $8,000, okay, per contract. Now, if you want to trade on an intraday time frame, you remember that uh, early chart we talked about, the 60-minute time frame? Well, we generated three signals that would have generated about 350 pips or uh, in the uh, euro yen, but how would we have known to take them? Well, we were below the 50 period. We have valid signals, but at the same time, each and every one of these signals was colored red by the pet D. So that would have given you the confidence to go short all of these signals in the euro yen. All right, so let's review here. We talked about strategy number four, probably our most consistent strategy to date. It's our most popular strategy. It's a trend following strategy. Remember we said, we, we said in the beginning, top traders, winning traders do not pick tops and bottoms. That's a recipe for disaster. Therefore, if we're not gonna trade tops and bottoms, that means we're trend traders. So we're only gonna be trading in sync with the trend. That's the overall trend or the 50 period moving average. It's a very moderate uh, strategy to trade and number two intensity level. It's only based on pattern recognition. We don't care about news. We don't care about chat rooms. We don't care about tons and tons of indicators. In fact, there's only one indicator in the strategy and I already gave that to you. It's a 50 period moving average. It works on any time frame, any market, any direction. If you're a course member, you're gonna receive the automatic signals, but please, please, we do not give you those signals so that you can fall into the same trap that most traders do where they just rely on what the up and down arrows say. You have to become a part of the process and learn how to spot them yourself so that you don't even rely on them. They're just meant to be uh, in the beginning used as informational or educational tools. Remember, our edge is consistency. That means that there will be small losses from time to time, but the beauty of consistency is it's two steps forward and one step back two steps forward, one step back. So you saw there's a very high level of consistency trading strategy four, but how can we increase our odds for success even more? Well, we add the pet D. And just to review, it's a proprietary algorithm I was introduced to on the floor nearly 40 years ago. It's a color bar tool. If you have a green a series of green bars, you're in an uptrend. A series of red bars, the short-term trend is down. Now we can identify the short-term trend, but we can also use it to confirm our signals, whatever strategy we're trading. So it doesn't have to be strategy number four. You can be trading a strategy that it's given you moderate success that maybe you're breaking even with. Once you apply the pet D to confirm the signals, I really feel strongly that it will increase your odds for success tremendously. But why not just use it with strategy number four? It's our most popular strategy to date. In fact, it's traded in over 92 countries around the world in every state in the United States. Now ask yourself, before we go into questions and answers, do you think these winning secrets I shared with you today could have helped your trading this past year? We all start the beginning of each new trading year with all these goals of what we want to do, what we want to accomplish. We forget about our losses, our mistakes of last year, and we say, this is the year we're going to make it, okay? What if you had known these things that I just shared with you last year at the beginning of 2015? Do you think they could have helped your trading? Well, remember, at Specialist Trading, we are an educational company. We are in no way any type of, uh, you know, affiliated with any type of company that just wants to force feed you signals to blindly take. We want to teach you how to trade. That, in our opinion, is the only way to become successful because by becoming a part of the process, you're going to trade with a purpose. When you blindly take a signal that someone says on TV or in some chat room or some indicator and you have no idea why you're taking it, you are not trading with a purpose. You're not a part of the process. So the only way to become consistent is to become a part of the process. And that's what we do at Specialist Trading. We teach you how to trade with a purpose. So here's what we're offering you today. We're offering you our Primo strategy number four along with a pet D tool. We call this our dynamic duo package because it's so popular and because we've had so many students get back to us and tell us how they've just for the first time in their lives become consistent with this package. You get instant course access, detailed instructions. We teach you all the entries, exits, and stops, which are just the basic format. But then we work with you through my mentoring to mold it and fit your needs. So we give you a number of different entry options, exit options, and stop options. This also comes with the educational signal alerts. In addition to that, you get the four pet D trading techniques in that pet D tool, okay? This includes the add-on, so you'll get the up and, and down indications for buy and sell signals. You'll also get the color bar algorithm for the pet D. Lastly, you get lifetime correspondence. Once you become a student of mine, you're a student of mine for life. 
You can contact me whenever you like through email, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Let me just show you a couple of things offered in this course. Once you learn all the rules and we've worked with you and we feel that you really have an understanding of the process, you understand the process, we start to furnish you with nightly signals so that you understand what to look for. Here's what was uh, in our nightly signal package just last week on the 31st of December. As you see here, we had a sell signal generated in IWM. That's the ETF for the Russell 2000 index, okay? We show you uh, where to sell, where to place your stop. But remember, these are just guidelines. You can use any of the different alterations that we give you, all right? So if we look right here, well, we're below the 50 period moving average and we close in the bottom 25% of our range. Okay, so it's a valid strategy number four signal as generated by the software. But let's say, you know, once again, you're still a little bit, you know, weary of taking this signal. Let's say you're, you're involved in some chat room for, with some other uh, website and they're telling you that you've got to go long. The market's going to make brand new highs at the beginning of next year. So you're not sure if you want to take this or not. Well, if you're a member of the Dynamic Duo course, all you would have to do to give you that confidence is to apply the pet D. Now, if this sell signal were colored green, you would not take the signal because there wouldn't be a high level of consistency to it. But once we add the pet D, well, we see it's colored red. So that is telling us that this is a very high probability signal. Not guaranteed, but you have a lot of, of uh, you know, uh, probabilities for success in this trade. And then we all know what happened this past week, all right? We didn't know what was going to go on in China. No one informed us uh, that China was going to, uh, you know, start having trouble with their uh, economic status. We didn't know what was going on worldly. We didn't care about economic news. All we looked at was what the market was telling us. Remember, it's so much easier to discard all that information the way top traders do. Winning traders don't look at that. They don't care about that information. That only serves to take them further from the source. The source is just right in front of you. It's, it's the chart that you should be looking at. So we furnish you with these signals. Here was one that was just generated last week. On top of that, you can use the PET-D as a long-term trend identifier. So many of our students forget that this can also be used in your long-term portfolios, in your IRAs, and in your position trading. Here's a monthly chart of the S&P 500 going back 20 years to 1995. As we see here, these all these bars are monthly bars. We see we went up to the dot-com crash and then we came falling down. Then we came back up and then we had the banking or financial crisis and we came crashing down again. And then we've been going up ever since. Would you like to know when we're going to top out again? Wouldn't it be, be nice if we had some type of early warning indicator that could tell us? Well, sure, there is one. It's the PET-D. All you do is add the PET-D. And once you see three or more colors of a, uh, of a different sequence, that's telling you that the trend has changed. All right. As we went up here all the way up into 2000, we had a couple of red bars, but we want to see at least three to tell us that the trend has changed. And at this point right here, we had three red bars. So we could have bypassed and exited our positions and bypassed the whole dot com crash going into 2003. Once we had three green bars, we're back into the market all the way up until 2007 in the banking crisis. And we would have missed this crash here coming into 2008, 2009. And then lastly, in 2009, we had three green bars. Sure, we had a, co a couple of uh, red bars here, but not enough to make three. In fact, we had a scare here in November, uh, I should say October and November of two red bars, but then we went back up in December. Now, wouldn't you like to know when you have three green, uh, red bars in a row telling you that this has topped out? You can do that with the pet D, all right? That's the beauty of it. It doesn't only work in five minute bars or daily bars or weekly bars, you can also apply it to long-term trading. You can apply it to monthly bars of any stock you're looking at, even the uh, Forex currency pairs. So this is a great, great course, and I really feel strongly that a year from today, you will have wished you became a member of this course. That's how much information there is in this. Remember, we always start off the year with all these hopes and dreams, with all these goals. A year from today, once we look back at this, I'll be giving a webinar a year from today. And if you did not sign up for the Pet D course, you will have wished you did. So here's how to become a member of our Dynamic Duo special here. We're offering an attendee discount for $14.95, one uh, payment plus a $97 per month payment, okay? Now that's because we're most likely going to be increasing the price. So we wanna get you in at this nice special here for a small lump sum down payment and then $97 per month. Now, if you don't wanna pay that $97 per month fee, you can have one 
payment fee of $29.95 and it's yours for life, okay? You're always going to be a student of mine for life, so this does not, does not mean that we will cut you off uh, if you, uh, you know, decide not to, uh, you know, pay the $29.95 and only want to pay the small one, but remember, those are monthly payments of $97 on top of the uh, small sum of $14.95. Now, here's how to take advantage of this great offer. Remember, once again, this is our most popular package. This is our dynamic duo course. You can contact my sister site, which is Pro Trader Strategies. You see here their email address, trading at protraderstrategies.com, to call them up to, to decide what type of a package you want to purchase, or you can call them directly at 310-598-6677. Now, that link on the bottom there is where you go to automatically sign up for that. It will take you to the sign-up page, but it's not live. You have to actually copy and paste that on. But if you look over onto the chat box on the far right, you will see that Pro Trader Strategies has posted a live link in the chat box. So if you want to sign up right away and become a member instantly, just simply click that on and it will take you to the sign up page. If you'd like to discuss more things with a, a trading consultant at Pro Trader Strategies, call them or email them and they'll get back to you. But remember, this is only for a limited time only, this discount, all right? That small uh, lump sum plus $97 per month. The price is probably going to go, be going up much further and you'll have to pay one fee. OK, so I'm going to leave this information up here while I open up the question and answer box. Thank you all for holding off on any questions. And let me just backtrack so I don't miss anyone here. Um, let's see here. Phil asks, I would like to have the link to review the presentation. Well, Phil, all you have to do is contact uh, Pro Trader Strategies and they will uh, get back to you uh, with the link. But remember, uh, feel free to watch it at your leisure. Watch it and look at these uh, different examples and watch the entire uh, recording once again, but remember this uh, special here will only last for a couple of days, I believe. So you have to be quick if you want to take advantage of that. Um, Lawrence asks, it's hard to distinguish colors. Could you use candles? Uh, yes, Lawrence, I guess you asked this prior to us getting to the candle section. Yes. Excuse me. We have a number of traders who use candles, and I showed you uh, uh, I showed you that last actual signal, which five days ago in the IWM, which was a candle chart. So yes, it can be used with candles very easily. Uh, let's see, Trader Allen asks, you claim you have uh, for winners, but you don't show how to get out as each winner was over different percentage of the decline. Well, uh, first of all, Allen, the rules of where to get out and where to get in are all in the course. That would be like saying, uh, you, know, uh, you know, you gave me an appetizer, now give me the full meal for free. You know, we can't do that. It wouldn't be fair to all the people that paid good money for the course. But if you're wondering where to get out or where to place your stops, how to trail, the market once it's going in your favor that's all within the course i just can't give that information because once again that wouldn't be fair we can't give you everything for free but i gave you two of the rules <laughs> you got two of the rules of the five uh that are included within the course okay nick asks does it matter where the price is in relation to the 50 period simple moving average when using the pet d or do you not use the 50 simple moving average when using the pet d indicator that's a great question nick is asking if i'm using both do I need, uh, you know, the, in other words, if I'm using strategy number four as well as the PET D, uh, do I need to apply the 50 period moving average? Once again, it's up to you. Now, if you're trading on a shorter term time frame, meaning that you're only looking for the short term trend, then sure, you could just use the PET D because it gets you in sync with the short term time frame. But if you want to be in sync and have a little more confidence and a little more consistency, we suggest using the 50 period moving average with the PET D. That will give you that dynamic duo edge we're talking about. But ultimately, in the end, this is what we're talking about. It's going to be you who decides. You have to become a part of the process. We are not uh, you know, sharing with you a system saying, no, no, these are the rules. You cannot alter them. You can alter them all you'd like as long as you keep the basic format in place. All right. As long as you don't add a tons of, of indicators and say, well, uh, you know, I'm throwing in the full moon as a tool as well. You know, those are those are requirements that are really way out there. Why would you put those things in? But as long as you keep the basic format in place, you can you know, decide to use the 50 period or not. It's up to you. This is what we encourage. We want you to be a part of the process. We don't want you to think that we're just like all those other websites where we say, uh, buy the Australian dollar at this price tomorrow or sell the e-mini here tomorrow. We only give those as benchmarks. Ultimately, it's your, your decision, okay? Uh, let's see here. 
Keith asks, does strategy number four with the pet D give you an exit point? Yes, it does, Keith. That's all in the course. In fact, we don't just give you an exit point. We give you several exit points. Uh, remember, once again, our job is to furnish you with a ton of information, all these different variables for exits, for entries, for stops, and give you a basic format and to show you how it works. But then we work with you to decide which ones you want to use. In other words, we may have a trader that says, you know, Steve, I'm extremely conservative. I don't want to risk a lot. I don't want to uh, stay in the trade for a long time. I want to get in and out very quickly, and I don't want to risk a lot. Great. We'll show you one of our basic uh, exit points that gets you out very quickly. We'll show you a different entry technique that has smaller risk, and we'll show you a different stop placement that has smaller risk. All right? You're still using the basic strategy number four buy signal, but you're deciding on different variables to uh, implement it. I'll say someone else says, hey, Steve, I trade strategy four, but I want to trade more aggressively. I'm willing to put up more risk because I want to go for those large gains. Great. We have different exit points for those large gains where you can uh, track it to stay in as long as you want. All right. We have different stop points, different entry points. So it's all based off the same signal. Two traders can take the exact same signal and come up with different results. Remember, if you trade a system, everyone enters the same way. Everyone exits the same way. Everyone should have the same results. That's how you have results and statistics because everyone does the same thing. We don't believe in that. Our philosophy is that you should trade according to your own needs and your own goals. If you're conservative, trade conservatively. If you're aggressive, trade aggressively. We show you how to do that, okay? Uh, next question, Keith is asking, for Forex, what platforms do you support with the Pet D? Okay, great question, Keith. The Pet D works with MT4. And then you, uh, everyone may want to write these down as well because it works with MT4, TradeStation, Metastock, NinjaTrader, Sierra Charts, Interactive Brokers, FCXM, and it even works with Thinkorswim. But Thinkorswimmer users have to use the live free stock data to run on a NinjaTrader platform, which we give you for free and which we help you set up for free with our tech support. So I know a lot of you will say, well, Steve, I don't have NinjaTrader. I don't want to stop using Thinkorswim. You don't have to. You're just going to have an extra platform that will run Strategy4 and the Pet D for all of your needs, and it won't cost you anything else. And we will also set that up for you. We have a great tech support service here. We'll put it all for you, and you won't even have to do anything, okay? Uh, Phil asks, what does PIP mean? Well, uh, if you're trading uh, the Forex market, PIPs is just a unit of measurement. In other words, if you trade uh, stocks, uh, a tick is a unit of measurement. It's like a cent. A pip is the same unit, the same type of unit of measurement, but it's only for a currency pair. Uh, I'd probably Google this on some uh, uh, Forex educational site or contact your broker, but it's simply a, a unit of measurement, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, Next question, are three or more bars of the same color required on intraday charts, two or just monthly charts and weekly charts? In other words, the question is saying, if you want to know that a trend has changed, do you wait for three or more bars to tell you on intraday charts? Once again, it's up to you. We have some traders that trade intraday uh, on the Forex that say, I wait for about two or three bars to be colored red before I know I'm in a downtrend. Whereas others may say, no, I don't even wait. The minute I get a red bar or one or two, I'm in. So it's up to you. That This is not a system, once again. Everyone's going to trade it differently. This is where we give you the information and help you work with it, but we want and encourage you to research it on your own to see what makes you feel comfortable. All right? There is no right or wrong answer. Uh, uh, Luis asks, can you use this strategy and buying options on stocks? Sure you can. In fact, it'll really help you with options because – First of all, you're basing your uh, option entry off of the market, not off of the option price. And so many option traders, for some reason, like to base their option trading based off of, uh, you know, the premium or based off how much time you have. That's basically you're, you're, you're uh, you know, using it on an outside source. We want to base what we're going to bet on based off of what we think the market's going to do. So all the signals are based off of market behavior not of, of option behavior. So therefore, if you want to trade options, well, the easiest way to do this is to, uh, once strategy number four generates a buy signal, what you can do is rather than purchase the stock, all you have to do is just purchase the option. Now you can either purchase some type of uh, uh, long spread if you'd like, or you can purchase a uh, you know an actual call. It's up to you. We have a number of traders who trade options with strategy number four and the pet D. Um, 
Abdullah asks, have you ever used strategy number four and Petty as an expert advisor and apply for a test for any a long time? Well, Abdullah, uh, that's a great question, but you know, once again, everyone uses these differently. Everyone has it differently and everyone uses different time frame. And even more bluntly, we're not a statistical company. As I said in the very opening statement, we are an educational company. So we're not about looking for statistics because that's only trying to prove a point. We're just trying to educate you with information that has stood the test of time and then let you run with it. Okay. If we in any way got statistics, that would be once again leaning towards telling you this is the way you should be trading it. But we, we don't believe in that philosophy. We want you to run with it. <clears throat> Remember, we do not teach or trade systems. I don't believe in that. I used to teach and trade systems, but I've never found any consistency in them. <clears throat> Excuse me. The only way to get, become consistent in trading is to become a part of the process. And the way you do that is by trading a strategy. A strategy uh, allocates uh, roughly 25 or 30 percent discretion on your part for altering the entry, altering the stop placement, altering the exit. So that, uh, because of that, you are becoming a part of the process. And in our opinion, that's how you become consistent. Okay. Uh, uh, Frederick is asking, uh, where and how does one install your system? Well, once again, you, uh, Frederick, you have to become a member. And once you become a member, what we do is we furnish you with all the add-ons and we have a great tech support department and they can help you do that or they can do it all for you over the phone. And so it's very simple and very easy to do. We have people who have never traded before, who have started using our products and our tech support, set them up. They didn't even know what platform to use. They had never done anything. And now they're on the road to consistency. We get testimonials all the time from people who said for the very first time in their life, they've become consistent. Sure, they have small losses every once in a while, but they're now for the first time uh, capturing gains. So if you really want to get on track for 2016, you know, you, I cannot think of a better package to get other than our dynamic duo. It really is that powerful. I've been using it on a consistent daily basis for the last uh, roughly 30 years now. OK, and I used it even before I had the add ons. I was just looking at the chart. I didn't even have the uh, the color bar code. All I had was just, uh, you know, the formula knowing if we were uh, in a short term uptrend or a short term downtrend. Now it's so much easier. Everything is right there on the screen for you. Plus, we have a great, great support system that will help you set it up. So once again, here's the information. 2016 looks like it's going to be a great year for a lot of our members. As we, as you just saw, most of our members started out the year with that great sell signal. Okay. If you would want to come on board and get signals that would let you know in advance uh, what we really have a high consistency for, a high consistency feeling in the market, now is the time. Remember, you don't want to be here a year from now wishing you had purchase this course. Firstly, it's going to be much more expensive. And secondly, you're going to miss out on all the learning and all the opportunities you may have. So take advantage of this great deal, become a member of the Dynamic Dual course, and most likely you'll get on those roads to consistency. I want to all thank you so much for attending today. I wish you the best of luck in the coming year, and I really look forward to all of you becoming students of mine at Specialist Trading. Thank you so much for attending today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.